What was the most memorable thing your class clown ever did? Who or I have a good one. So this was first period of my senior year. Let's call her Miss Griswold. Our teacher was horrible. Bitch would just stop kids from talking because they said like or you mm. Call you an idiot because she didn't like you. Had clear favorites. Had arguments with anyone even though she was sometimes wrong. She was basically this fat old hag. Made you a pretty good writer though tbh. In comes Carlos. Carlos moved to the states when he was 3 and had command of the English language. Throughout our first 3 years of he spoke T perfectly, would write perfectly, and present perfectly in English. When senior year came along he decided to just speak with this really really thick Mexican accent and see how long he could get away with pretending he moved to the states when he was 16. Every single student knew he was perfectly fluent but just ran with it. Days turned to weeks, and weeks to months. No teacher that heard him had any fucking idea that he was not in fact a recent immigrant and they all treated him like gold because he was such a hard worker and spoke English so well for being so new. Anyway the dude used to tell stories about gang bangs and shootings that he witnessed in Tijuana, or talk about his hungry friends. He would just go off huge tangents and talk about the fucking Joker and Batman without really making any sense and sprinkling Spanish here and there with huge pauses because he don't know the right way to say in English and we would all fucking die snickering and the teachers just thought we were huge assholes for laughing at the poor kid's misfortune and lack of English. This dude that we had all known since at least HS and some of us since middle school or elementary school was fooling every fucking teacher for months and it was so fun to watch. He had pretty damn good grades because every teacher thought he was ESL and did pretty well in his assignments. Come spring, I think, I'm pretty sure it was spring, we are in Miss fucking Griswold's class and Carlos accidentally spills Gatorade all over his backpack and on his back. His bag is dripping and the back of his shirt is covered in blue Gatorade. A oh fuck. I'm hella wet, as he's trying to sort his shit out, and Griswold hears it. Everything okay Carlos, see mom all good, what happened? Well, me had Gatorade and me spilled, pointing at his back. Everyone knows it's coming I spilled and now me, wet back, the class fucking erupts in laughter. We can't hold our shit together because the way he said it and the way the teacher looked was way too priceless. Finally she starts screaming at us because we are some bad students, and we can't just celebrate diversity and how we should be proud of Carlos for grasping English so well yaddy yada. Carlos became legend that day and the story spread like wildfire. The best part about all of this is that the last day of school Carlos was part of the assembly and had to say a couple words. The dude crushed his little speech in perfect English naming every single teacher he had for being so kind and generous with him. Man that dude is dope. We still snapchat sometimes and I'm pretty sure he's having some success in acting. Edit, FB chatted Carlos and asked him what kind of other shit he remembers this is what he wrote. R I remember some things I said like what kind of car Shakespeare had when my drunk uncle Chero got caught on fire, and how you got a detention for laughing at me. A fun days, nice TLDR, read the story. Through two dictionaries by the class window from the fourth floor. The dictionaries fell about two feet from the principal who was casually walking outside. Principal proceeds to get inside, climb to the fourth floor, enter the classroom with both books in hand and asks who did this. He says I know it's someone from this class and no one is leaving until I know who is responsible, by that time it was lunch time. After a long silence the guy finally says okay I admit, I threw one of them. Principal goes I appreciate your honesty, thanks for giving yourself away, you can leave for dinner, but don't start again so the kid got to leave while the rest of the class had to stay until we could find who threw the second book, guy had thrown both obviously. We tried to say he threw both but principal was like stop trying to put that on the back of your friend who was honest we were stuck there for like half an hour until they realized this was going nowhere. I got sent to the principal's office with 8 random kids once during lunch for detention. Ticking clock in the background and silence as we sat in a circle. The principal was intimidating and would announce each student's full name, asking them what they did wrong, then giving them additional punishments based on what they did. He gets to one kid and announces Alexander Berger. Some smartest kid chimes in out of nowhere with a small fries and a large coke thanks mate it wasn't the most insane class clown thing I've seen. But we all burst out laughing. I've never been in a situation since that went from being so insanely tense to relaxed and funny with such a swing. During a class presentation he had his assistant turn off the lights. He then put a flashlight under his head so only his face was illuminated. 
He started saying things like prepare to be amazed, science rules, and welcome to a world of wonder. He then paused and said please observe what I do with this applesauce. The lights turned back on and he poured an entire jar of applesauce down his pants. This was a high school biology class. The teacher was in shock and I don't think I'll ever laugh that hard again. Just pure craziness. Pulled a pipe and some weed out and took a hit right in the middle of math class without the teacher finding out. The teacher didn't know what the smell was or where the smoke came from or who even did it so she just pretty much got mad at everybody for not paying attention and got back to teaching. She was completely oblivious. She obviously had never smelled weed before in her entire life. In my senior year economics class our teacher was a 70 year old woman that had been teaching at the school for at least 40 years. We would fuck with her constantly. One day the window was open and I was in the seat right next to it. Another guy in the class gives me a tennis ball and tells me to throw it at him when Dr. Rapt was not looking. I had no clue what or what he was going to do but I agreed. When she turned her back to me but could still probably see him out of the corner of her eye I tossed the ball with some force but not much and it hit him in the face. He then proceeded to scream in agony and fall over bringing his whole desk down with him in a extremely slapstick manner. She ran over to him and asked him what happened and he said someone pelted the ball at him from out the window while still writhing in pain on the ground. She ran over to the window and spotted three kids in the courtyard outside the classroom and called them over so she could yell at them, but none of them knew what was going on at all and denied it. She told them if none of them would fess up she would call the principal and they would all be in trouble they all remained confused and stood their ground she ended up calling the principal and he took them to his office I don't know if they ever got in trouble though. I would not even know where to begin in elementary school. I had a class full of clowns so I will skip to high school. We had a substitute teacher in Spanish one day, the new assistant pay coach. My friend gets my attention and asks me to hand him one of the erasers from the chalkboard. I pass it over, he sticks it down the front of his jeans and positions it to stick out lengthwise. My friend is 6 feet 9 inches, just massive, and he now looks like he has a raging, rectangular, erection. He walks up to the sub's desk, slaps it down on the table right in front on him and says, Can I go to the bathroom? The look of shock and horror on the teacher's face was priceless. His eyes were focused on his pants the whole time and he mumbled, Why? Why? Yes. I was in the floor, under my desk, having convulsion as my friend walked out looking as proud as a peacock. The whole class was in tears. Student vs Faculty Basketball Game Everyone is in the gymnasium to watch the game. It's a pretty friendly game for the most part but there was some decent competition. It was my senior year and our class clown was the announcer for this basketball game. One of the faculty members who was playing only had one arm. One armed faculty member, Mr. X, comes into the game off the bench and immediately hits a 3 point jump shot. During the inbound play, one armed faculty member steals the ball and proceeds to make another basket. Class clown who has been announcing the game lets out this gem, and Mr. X is single handedly taking over this ball game the game literally had to be stopped as people were laughing too hard. It caused a bit of an awkward exchange between the student and teacher but was the best timing on a joke I've ever heard. We were doing a school wide team bonding exercise, basically each class had to build a bridge out of newspaper and sellotape in the school field. The event happened, winners were declared and we were asked to tidy up. They drove a sit-on lawnmower onto the field towing a trailer and we were asked to throw the excess paper into the back of it. At this point 400 children rushed the trailer and started throwing paper in it. Soon it was filled at least 2-3 meters high. The groundskeeper starts to drive away and the trailer disconnected. No big deal, he hooks it back up, drives off and it disconnects again. Now this was one of those slot it over and put a pin through it couplings, they don't just fail. The grounds keeps was confused so a teacher came to help. It disconnected the moment he drove off. At this point everyone is laughing, expecting it to fail, and it disconnects at least 5 times. Finally they couple it up and the teacher walks with it watching to see how it failing and bam out of nowhere this kid leaps from the pile of newspaper screaming like a banshee. He'd leapt into the trailer in the flurry of newspaper and children undetected and had been disconnecting the trailer every time it drove off. The class clown in my year was a rather large chap, one lunchtime he decided it would be a good idea to pull up his shirt unveiling his rather large belly covering it with butter, then running down the hallway as fast as he could to see how far he could slide. It wasn't very far and he just ended up with loads of friction burns over his belly. In our algebra YI class my junior year, 
My best friend walked into class 5 minutes late with a life size cardboard cut out of himself. He pulls his chair out, stands the cut out between the chair and the desk, and walks right back out of the room. The teacher didn't say anything for about 45 seconds. Then she just marked him absent and pretended nothing had happened. At the end of the class he came back and got it. By the end of the next class the cutout had been confiscated. Thank you for watching. Remember to leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and subscribe to OKPJDark for new videos every day. See you tomorrow.